What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to start a new series on Mask RCNN. So what's Mask RCNN? Well, it's faster RCNN but with a mask. So faster RCNN is an object detection algorithm that's pretty similar to YOLO. It's giving us those bounding boxes, those object labels, the confidence factor, all those things we're used to seeing, but we're also adding this mask. So we're able to label all the pixels that belong to each object with a mask. So we'll talk more about this in later videos, but in this video, we're gonna focus on how to get set up using this GitHub repo that implements mask RCNN. So we're gonna look at how to download, install, and test everything and get it running on our system. So let's get started. Like always, I prepared some slides which give a quick overview on how to download and install everything. And I'll be posting these to my GitHub and there'll be a link in the description so you can refer to them anytime you like. So let's get into it and talk a little bit more about what Mask RCNN is. So like I mentioned before, Mask RCNN is taking faster RCNN and building on top of it by adding a mask. So faster RCNN is doing the object detection, object localization, it's giving us those bounding boxes, the object labels, the confidence factors, basically the same output as what YOLO was doing, even though the implementation is slightly different. So we're taking that object detection algorithm and we're adding this mask feature to it. And what the mask does is it labels each pixel. Does this pixel belong to the object or not? So it was developed by the Facebook AI research group and they've written a paper on it, which I've linked here. So feel free to read and get more information on it. But there's also a YouTube video. So if you wanna watch like a quick 13 minute overview from the creators, also do that as well. It's a pretty good watch. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install a particular implementation of Mask RCNN. So the one we're gonna be using is from this group called Matterport and it's called Mask RCNN. And what's nice about this one is it's built using TensorFlow and Keras, which are packages we're used to using. We don't need to download any new deep learning frameworks. So now I'm gonna jump back over to the slides and I wanna give a quick high level overview of all the steps we need to do to install. So step one, we're gonna create a Conda virtual environment using Python 3.6. And if you're unfamiliar with working with Conda virtual environments, I'll link a video I've done on it but we're gonna use this so we can isolate ourselves from our other Python installations. Step two, we're gonna install all the dependencies. So stuff like NumPy, TensorFlow, Keras, all those Python packages, we're gonna install them. Step three, we're gonna clone the mask RCNN repository. Step four, we're gonna install something called PyCocoTools. Step five, we're gonna download the pre-trained weights. And finally, step six, we're gonna test everything and make sure our installation works. So let's begin with step one and create that virtual environment. And because we're using Conda environments, we're gonna need Anaconda. So if you don't have Anaconda installed, I've made a tutorial on it. The link's right there on the screen. I'll also add the link in the upper right hand corner. And you don't necessarily have to use Conda environments, but I think it's a good practice. We can keep all of our stuff separate from our main Python installation, just so we don't have to risk breaking anything. So that's the method I'm gonna use. And conda environments are pretty simple to work with. To create one, we just use this command, conda create dash n, and then we specify the name. So I'm just gonna call it mask RCNN. We specify the version of Python we want. In this case, it's gonna be 3.6. And then we specify the packages we want. And I'm just gonna start by installing pip. So I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. Then I'm gonna pull up a new command window. And I've just created a new folder in my users mark and the new folder is called mask. So I'll just go ahead, paste that in and get the environment going. I'm just going to hit yes to agree. And we're done. Our environment is installed. So now I'm going to jump back over to the slides so we can proceed to step two. Now let's proceed to step number two and install all the dependencies. And to make life easier, I've prepared a requirements.txt file, and we can just call one command to install everything from the file. So what you'll need to do is download this requirements.txt file from my GitHub page. I've added a link right here on the screen, but basically it's just a list 
of all the packages we're going to be installing. So NumPy, SciPy, TensorFlow, Keras, all these things. So one quick warning before we proceed, we're going to be installing TensorFlow GPU. And in order to install it, we need a lot of stuff prepared in advance. Things like the CUDA toolkit, the QDNN, the, all our system level paths, those need to be specified in advance before we install, otherwise it's not gonna work. So if you're unfamiliar with installing TensorFlow GPU, I'll add a link to a video tutorial I've done on it. If you've already installed all this stuff, then you're good to go. This pip install will work. And if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU capable of running TensorFlow GPU, what you'll need to do is change this G to a C and you'll just need to install TensorFlow CPU. Obviously the performance won't be as good using TensorFlow CPU, but you'll still be able to process images. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and install our requirements. So I'm just gonna go back to my CMD window and first I'm gonna activate our environment. So activate mask RCNN and just pull this up a little bit. Now for the pip command, it's gonna be pip install dash r and we just specify the file. So requirements.txt. So we'll get that running, oops, too many L's. So we'll get that going and it's just gonna install all those packages we had specified in the file. And we're done, all our dependencies are installed. So now let's proceed to step number three. So I'm just gonna jump back over to the slides and proceed to step number three. And now we're going to clone the repository for that mask RCNN repo. So again, we're just gonna use git and we can just run this command here, git clone this repository. So I'm just gonna copy paste this into our working one and I'm just gonna clear the screen so we have a little more room. So we're gonna run this, it's going to download and clone that repository into our working directory. And it's done. So now let's proceed to step number four. So I'm just gonna jump back over to the slides and step number four is gonna be to install PyCocoTools. So all we need to do is just download the repo or clone the repo and then just run this pip command to install everything. But before we do that, we need to make sure Visual C++ 2015 build tools are installed. So if you need to install those, you can just follow this um, link to this website and you'll just click this button here to download and install them. You might have to restart, but make sure you've got all that installed before you proceed. So then, like I said, we're just gonna clone a repository and call pip install. So this repository is this Coco clone of Coco API. So we're gonna need these tools in order to do the mask RCNN stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is just run this command. So I'm just gonna copy, come back over to our window, run that. And now that the repository's done, I'm just gonna run this pip install command. So again, copy, come back over here, paste. And it's done. You should see successfully installed PyCocoTools.2.0. And again, make sure your virtual environment is active when you do this. Now let's jump back over to the slides and proceed to step number five. So here we need to download the pre-trained weights for our model. So just go to this link and we just need to download the mask RCNN Coco H5 file. And then we just need to place it in the main folder of our mask RCNN repository. So if we go to this link here, you'll see that there's a few options, but all we need to do is download this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and that's gonna download to my downloads folder. And in order to move it, I'm just gonna pull up this folder and the other one. So once it's done downloading, yeah, so it's done downloading, and I'm just gonna move it right into this folder. So click and drag right into the mask RCNN folder. And you can see we've got the weights right there. So now that we've finished step five, the only thing left is to test it. So in order to do this, there's a demo IPython notebook. So we're just gonna open that and run it. So back over to our command window. Let's just go ahead and call Jupyter notebook. 
And while we're in here, let's go into the mask our CNN folder and there's this demo.py file. So I'm just going to open this and zoom in a little bit. So we're just going to run, let's just run all the cells with code. So yeah, don't worry about this warning about this float to MP float thing. It's just a warning. We're still going to be able to run. So that cell is done. Let's go ahead, run this one. And yeah, our model is loaded. So let's go ahead and run this one. And you can tell it's still running because it's got an asterisk right here. Once you get the number, you know it's done. All right. And then we'll go ahead and run this one, which is super quick. And here's the one that's gonna do the inference. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna change the file that I'm gonna run. So I've got this, doge pick that I'm going to run. So instead the file name I'm going to do, let's do file name and it's going to be equal to os.path.join and it's going to be the image dir and then the file I want is going to be doge.jpg. Oops, doge. So then we're just going to load this thing here. So we can just, yeah, let's just place that here instead. And that's going to be our image. So unfortunately I can't run this while I'm doing my screen capture because when the screen capture is running, it's taking up too much GPU resources and the model will just air out. So I have to pause my screen capture and then run this and show you the results. So um, once I figure out how to way to fix this, I'll not be doing this in future videos, but for now, uh, I'll be right back and we're back and everything worked. So here you can see we processed the image. We got the mask on the image and it ran successfully. So this was the original picture we processed and these are the results. So one thing I didn't show was me adding this folder or this, this image into the folder. So just to show you within the mask our CNN folder, there's this folder called images and here's a bunch of stock ones that they've got, but I've went ahead and add this Doge one and then a Elon Musk one in there. So you can add images and process them however you like. And these are the results you should get. You should get the box, the mask, the label, and then a confidence factor. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys found it interesting and useful. And if you've got any questions, leave them below in the comments or use the Facebook group to chat more. Be more than happy to help you guys out. And yeah, so in the next video, what I want to do is turn this into a real time processing machine. So instead of just processing these static images, I want to process footage from a camera or a video source. So we're going to need to make some changes to the code itself. Um, everything's built around matplotlib. And really, if we want to do this, we need OpenCV. So we're going to have to rewrite some of the code but that's gonna be for future videos. So if you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to download the slides from GitHub and um, I know it's kind of a lot, but give it a shot. If you got questions, you know, I'll be more than happy to help. And yeah, if you like the content you're seeing, then hit the subscribe button. There'll be more videos like this in the future. So later guys, peace.